saying Charleston City Council will review several multi-million dollar drainage projects. Melissa Rademacher talked to the Stormwater Department Director ahead of that meeting about some of those bigger projects and where they are in terms of completion of those projects. Melissa? And right now, City Council is reviewing contracts for Phase 5 of the Spring Fishburn Drainage Project, as well as contracts for the Church Creek Resilience Drainage Project. Now, let's break down what those are. The Spring Fishburn Drainage Project, it's along what's also known as the Crosstown or Septima Clark Parkway. It's been in the works for years and has long been a nearly $200 million plan. Tonight, what Council is reviewing is a contract of the final phase of work, where teams will install a water pump to help the underground drainage system flush out flood water downtown even faster than it currently flows using gravity. Now the Church Creek project along Bees Ferry in West Ashley uses some federal funds to buy back land and create a natural wetland basin for flood water. It returns land that used to have constantly flooded buildings to a green space that will also feature parkland on the high ground areas. They look different in different areas of the city because different projects have the best cost benefit returns. And, you know, cost obviously is how much money we're spending on the project, but benefits gets more complicated, right? It's, um, it can be in a traditional sense, it's just how much flood reduction are you getting? We have tried very hard as a city and as a department to say there are more benefits potentially than just flood reduction. Like we're adding amenities and green space and, um, you know, nature-based approaches to help with ecology and vegetation and uh, native, native birds and animals. You can find the cost breakdown of these projects by clicking on the story on our website. In downtown Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.